In today's video, I will teach you how to lock layers in GIMP. Let's get started. There are several ways that you can lock layers in GIMP. But first, let's go to the Layers panel. The default location of the Layers panel is on the lower right side of the editor. If the Layers panel is hidden, you can simply go to the menu bar, Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and select Layers or simply use the shortcut key Ctrl L. Now, if you would like to lock your layers in order to freely work with your other elements, you can simply use one of these tools on the layer that you would like to lock. The first option is Lock Pixels. This one locks the pixel on your layer by preventing any changes to pixel information on the layer where you use it. The second lock option is the lock position and size. This one locks the position and size of the layer where it is applied by preventing any move or scale transformations from being applied on the selected layer. This option is very useful if you would like to prevent accidentally rearranging a layer that you wouldn't like to move. And the last option is the lock alpha channel. This one locks the alpha channel of the background layer by preventing any changes to the transparency on the selected layer. To use them, simply click on the layer that you would like to lock. Choose the lock option that you want and click the layer that you wish to lock. Alternatively, you can simply double click on the layer thumbnail that you would like to lock. This will open the layer attributes dialog box. Here, you can edit the layer information such as the name, color tag, blending mode, and even the visibility and lock options for that specific layer. When locking layers in GIMP, you can mix and match different lock options depending on your workflow and the design that you're working on. You can enable both lock pixels and lock alpha channel, but leave the lock position and size disabled. Or you can enable both lock position and size and lock alpha channel and leave the lock pixels disabled. Or you can just enable or disable all of them. Once you're done, you can now click OK. You can also do this for any new layers that you make. Simply go to the bottom of the Layers panel and click the Create New Layer option and you will have the same parameters and options to customize your new layer. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.